right, this continues section 8.2, and we're looking at this factoring by grouping example. Now, this factoring by grouping example has a GCF as well as a binomial GCF, so a monomial and a binomial GCF. So I'm going to put parentheses or highlight these parentheses that we can't see inside. So remember that this addition here shows us that we have a term here and a term here. So looking across here, I see that I have a 5 in common with, the, with these. But then I also recognize that I have that binomial in common as well. So it's my GCF here is a 5 times a plus b. So let's write that up here so we don't uh, so that we remember that as being our GCF. And then when I'm ready to find out what my new binomial looks like, I have to be prepared for it. So one term here plus one term here. So 5 goes into 5 one time, it cancels, right? And AB goes into AB one time, so it cancels and we're left with 1. And really that's why we put that plus in there being prepared because we want to know what everybody to know that that's a going to have to have a term there. And then 5 will go into 25, we cancel that, that'll go in 5 times, no, nothing's happening with the A and the ABs will cancel, so this leaves us with a 5 a. And if we could rather write that as 5a plus 1, that's absolutely okay. And so now we see a monomial times a binomial times a binomial. Now we're going to talk about factoring by grouping. Factoring by grouping, after we check for a GCF, is done when we have four terms. So here's the process for factoring by grouping. Factoring by grouping, move up here a little bit, our factoring by grouping starts by grouping two similar terms. And you don't think too hard about this. Group the first two, group the second two. If they don't work, you can always regroup. So once we have done that, then the next thing that we want to do is we want to find a GCF amongst the two terms. So out of these two, I have a 2 GCF. And when I take 2 out, I have a 4x. And then plus, and when I take a 2 out, I have a 1. Now from these two, I'm going to get a GCF from those as well. Now in the back of our minds, always just in the back of our minds, one of the things that we want to think about is what um, GCF we might have in common and uh, or what uh, binomial this binomial looks like so that when we factor out our GCF that our binomials will look the same. Now this is just something that happens in the very back of your mind and it usually involves signs so I'm not going to think too hard about it especially in this particular one. So here and here I have a 3 in common and then I also see I have a y squared in common, so y squared. And then I'm going to prepare myself for the binomial. And so 3y squared comes out of 3y squared and leaves me with a 1. 3y squared comes out of here and leaves me with a 4x. Now remember, 4x plus 1 or 1 plus 4x, those are exactly the same terms. So now I'm going to see that I have 1, 2 terms here and I'm going to factor out that GCF, which this time is a binomial GCF, just like we were doing in the last two problems. We're factoring a binomial GCF. In fact, that's why we practiced that. And now I have out of the first term a 2 plus out of the second term a 3y squared. And it's okay to write that as 4x plus 1 times 3 y squared plus 2 as well, or you can just leave it like that. It really doesn't matter. And there we go. And you see, when we factor by grouping, what we end up with is a binomial times a binomial. Now let's look at another example. So in this one, we're going to group the first two, group the second two. And so out of the first two, I'm going to take a 2z. And that's going to leave me with an x plus y. Now this is where, in the back of my mind, I see binomial plus and a plus. Okay, these are both minuses. So guess what? I'm going to take a negative out. And a negative 1. I'm going to take out and that's going to make that one positive. And plus, when I take a negative 1 out, it's going to make it positive. And now you see that I have, out of this term and this term, I have a GCF of x plus y. So I'll take the x plus y out and then that's going to leave me with a binomial. So I prepare. I've got a minus in between. Here a 2z and then here a 1. And there we go. That's our factoring. All right, we'll save the next one for our next, um, our next video.